Hi, it's Morty, broadcasting from my recording studio. Um, next week I'm going to be at, in Manhattan at the New York Trade Room. Um, there's a five-day seminar um, from Monday the 25th of January to Friday the 29th. I'm going to be flying in on the 27th and be giving my talk on uh, Thursday and Friday. Um, I'm primarily concentrating on the other aspects of training, trading other than learning the trading systems. Uh, and these other aspects are really twofold. One is psychology of trading and also money and risk management. Clearly it's very important to learn the trading system, um, but it's very easy to ruin a good trading system with poor money management and poor mental discipline. Um, so I've entitled my talk, Snatching Defeat from the Jaws of Victory. On the psychology front, I'm going to be using several examples of how the, what sort of state of mind you should be in when you're trading. This is sort of so-called Trading in the Zone by Mark Douglas uh, and others. And I'm going to give some examples of how and what it feels like to trade in the zone. In addition, I'm going to do the, the um, hard, uh, in terms of numbers anyway, that, the hard part. So that's the soft part. The psychology of trading is the soft part. It's the most difficult to learn. Um, risk and money management is easier to learn because it's more black and white and I'm going to be spending some time uh, discussing how money and risk management can considerably improve um, the profitability of a trader. Um, I've also got some other things that are quite interesting, for example, hand configuration. Um, there's been quite a lot of research to show that a long ring finger in a trader uh, can make them anything up to 11 times more profitable than a trader that has a short ring finger and we're going to explore this and other sort of quirky things about trading. So there's Maudie Sill saying goodbye from my recording studio in London. <laughs>